hold up. How did they get the backgrounds to move like that? Back then, animators drew characters frame by frame on something called cells. Cells were transparent sheets that allowed anything underneath of them to show through. But how did they convert these physical drawings into film? They actually had a camera set up over top of the keyframe cells and would snap a photo. They'd swap that cell out and then shoot another photo, then continue this process snapping photos. Once the film was developed and played back, it had the illusion of motion. Okay, well that takes care of the character's motion, but how did they capture the background's motion? The exact same thing. They would slightly move it before snapping the next photo of the character. But shots like this were much harder to achieve. Rather than having one background layer, there were several layers made of glass, allowing the next layer to show through. This technique was created by Walt Disney and the system was called the multiplane camera. Here's an example of only one background layer being used without the multiplane camera. And here it is with several layers with the multiplane camera. This camera system gave much more depth and a three-dimensional look to their films.